Don't you just love a mid-morning shower? Like working in your pajamas until 10 a.m. and then jumping in the shower afterwards to just like refresh yourself when the day has already started quite a bit. It's something I absolutely love about a home working day. Um, it's just showering whenever I feel like it. So I just took a shower, washed my hair, lathered my body in body oil and um, I thought it would be nice to just show you kind of like my winter morning um, routine, my morning get ready with me, skin, makeup, uh, maybe the clothes I'm wearing, uh, just the whole thing. I've been really stripping my skincare routine back because my skin had been freaking out a bit um, over the last few weeks. I think I've been using some products that I didn't really um, enjoy so I decided to just strip it back just use like my oil cleanser um, and a hydrating serum for about a week, a week and a half, just to like kind of reset it. And I've been kind of like um, implementing a few little extras um, into my routine again, uh, just to like help my skin heal again. But it's been looking um, a lot better. I still have like the scars from that huge breakout and I still have like some breakouts here, but um, it's getting better. The first thing I put on my face, uh, I don't cleanse. I, take, I took a shower, I cleanse with water. Um, and then I just put on this um, Caudalie Vigno Pure Serum, which is helping with breakouts a lot. I use about two pumps, rub that in between my hands and then nicely massage that. Um, on my face, I concentrate on um, my cheeks because it's where I have the most breakouts. And then I take a second serum, um, which um, also kind of works as my moisturizing step, which is the Vino Perfect Serum from Caudalie, um, which is their like brightening serum, but it's also super hydrating. Um, so I just use this. Um, also helps to protect against um, free radicals, has antioxidants in. Because it's so brightening, it also helps um, to fade these darker spots that I have from breakouts. I'm using a little bit of eye cream. Um, I've been using this Antipodes Kiwi Seed Oil Eye Cream, which is okay. I uh, wouldn't necessarily, necessarily repurchase this. Um, but you know, it's an eye cream. It's always a bit tricky. When I finish this one, I'm going to use the uh, Kodali, like the, the golden eye cream, uh, which is supposed to be really good. And it's waiting for me in my backup stash. Let's be a little bit fancy and roll this in with a jade roller. It's always so soothing to do. I think I'll just have to accept that no matter how much I sleep, drink, or eat healthy, I will always have a feet under eyes. I think it's just the way my face is built or something, um, because I sleep so much and I drink so much water and I just, it never disappears. So when I'm taking photos, I'm always like doing this, so you don't see them because when I do this, <laughs> I have the worst under eye circles. A little bit of lip balm as well, which is the Maristella Marcus one. Um, which is their lip balm, which is really nice. Uh, it's very fresh and minty, which is why I love it in the morning. And then my SPF step, which is this Caudalie um, anti-wrinkle face sun care, uh, SPF 30. And um, I just realized that unintentionally I did almost a full face of Caudalie in this morning skincare routine. But it is like... Right now it's like, uh, I would say 30% Kiehl's, 30% Caudalie, and then a few other bits in my routine. When you find brands you love, you just have to continue using them. Just applying some bits into my hair. Uh, they're both from Biolash, which is this kind of brand that always sends me a lot of um, hair care stuff. One is their texturizing styling spray, which I just use to um, add some volume, hopefully, to my hair. Um, wouldn't say it's like my favorite product ever, but it just gives it a little bit more grip to my super fine hair. And then their um, heat styling primer because um, it just makes my hair uh, ends really smooth even when I'm not even when I'm not uh, blow drying my hair. It just makes it really smooth and protects it, and I love that. I'm going to cut all my hair off. I want like this kind of hair, not this kind of hair. I want, you know. Just like a nice, a nice little cut uh, because I'm getting quite sick of my super long hair. It's like super long. I can't even put it on the camera. I could pretend that I have to find something to wear, but uh, I'm working from home. So it's most definitely my uh, knitted uh, loungewear trousers and um, just a black knit and a top underneath. I could also pretend that I'm going to wear a lot of makeup, but I'm absolutely not because um, 
I most days don't wear any makeup or just use uh, these three products that I'm showing you now. First up, a little bit of concealer. I use the Glossier Stretch Concealer in G9 and this uh, Zoeva 114 Lux Face Focus Brush. And I just dip it into the concealer and just kind of um, go over my cheeks where I do have, you know, some spot scars or some redness or something. Just a tiny bit under my eyes, but not too much because I just, I'm not going out of the house today actually. Um, besides like going for a walk, no one's going to see me. And I don't have to hide my face for anyone. A bit of bronzer with a milk makeup, um, I don't know how it's called, baked bronzer or something, um, which <laughs> no longer wants to pop up in its little packaging. But I anyway just use it with this uh, Zoeva 102 Silk Finish Brush and I just go through the product with that. This is actually like a, a sample or like a travel size so it's not going to last me too long. And then I just um, apply it onto my cheeks and my forehead and uh, blend that out. A little bit of brow gel, uh, the Jane Iredale Pure Brow, which continues to be my favorite brow gel uh, because it has these, it's like a really, really big brush, um, which I seem to like because I have really, really big brows. If you like the small Glossier Boy Brow Brush, you probably won't really enjoy the size of this baby. I might take another product though. So let's say I did four products instead of three. A little bit of. Armas Living Luminizer, um, which is as good as finish. It just has a little bit of product in this corner. Um, I L O V E this so much. Just gives a really nice juicy. Juicy is my new word. A juicy uh, finish to the cheeks and the brow bones, and then just making myself look a little bit more awake by adding a little bit into the inner corners of my eyes. There we go. I'm going to shake my hair out, but I'm not going to dry it because um, I'm staying home this morning and um, just going to let it air dry. So that was a very real morning, winter morning. Get ready with me. Um, hope you enjoyed it. If you want to know anything about this product, pop me a comment below and I will uh, link to all the things I mentioned uh, in the description box for you to find if you want to purchase them or see more info. Thank you so much for watching this. I hope you have um, a lovely day yourself, and if you're watching this in the evening, good night. <laughs>